really good. Oh, yep. Okay, I'd like to call. Oh, yeah. Uh, we need to order, and <laughs> after the pledge, we're going to do a moment of silence for the fallen officers. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Next up on the agenda is next up on the agenda is the adoption of minutes. I get a motion to approve the April fourth minutes. I'll move it. I will second that. Any issues, discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carried, none opposed. Citizens' comments. Is there anybody that would like to make a comment on the agenda or any other issues in, in the town of Lace and it tonight? Come up to the microphone, Mr. Birch. And remember, no political comments. This is town issues, town, town items. Are uh, uh, bicycle racks political? No. Uh, the previous supervisor seemed to think it was. So you might have to turn that microphone on. Oh, God. Fred Burge playing the road. So uh, last August, after a board meeting, I had approached the then supervisor, Mr. Wicks, and uh, I had noticed that. Uh, both in the front of the building and in the back of the building, I didn't notice any bicycle racks. And wouldn't normally be on my mind until last summer I decided to do a biking career and go out 30 to 50 miles every day. And when the weather's nice, I come down to the town board meeting with it. And then one day I rode it down to the building to pay my taxes. And I, I was kind of like, Boy, I wonder if there's anybody else in the community that likes to ride their bike and visit town hall instead of maybe drive two or three miles from in the middle of Radisson. So I approached Mr. Wicks and let him know that I just, for whatever reason, assumed that there would be a bike rack here. Maybe there's an employee that works at town hall that only has to go a mile or two and might want to ride their bike to work. Get in shape, kill two birds with one stone. And he said, I know, Fred, I'm working on it. And so that was in August. We're getting towards May. And uh, I just wanted to reiterate towards the board. I don't know, maybe we can put a cup in. And people donate some quarters at the meetings or something like that. I'm not asking to raise taxes to get a bike rack. But uh, it'd be nice. I think if it was, we had something like that, I think people might pay attention to it and might utilize it, you know. People I wouldn't want, you know, to get something just for me, but if there's any way we could work something like that out, I think that would uh, be beneficial to this building and, and for our town. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate your time. Is there anyone else? Any other comments? Okay, seeing none. Uh, town <clears throat> board comments. Start with you, Councilor Jurassic. I'd, like, I'd like to thank everybody for coming. It's uh, obviously been a tough week for us and uh, <clears throat> for what happened in Salina. Um, but we lost also somebody close to us. Um, and if you read the obituaries, Bob Edgett died uh, last week. And his obituary was in last Sunday's paper. And if you don't, Bob was the camera person for PAC BTV for forever, uh, for as long as I know, and I've never met a, a gentleman like him before that he always had a smile on his face, and he was just always so good about doing his job, and just being, just being friendly. So I just want to extend condolences to his family on behalf of not only myself, but uh, I'm thinking the entire town, but that was a, that was a great loss to our community. Councilor Moore. 
Yeah, I would just reiterate everything that uh, Bob said here. Bob was a great guy. He always, he's very positive, always smiling, great person to be around, and he will be missed. My condolences to his family. Okay. Uh, Councilor Kudarakis is absent, so uh, <clears throat> go to supervisor's comments. Uh, just like to reach out our condolences to, uh, you know, the, the families of the fallen officers and all of their co-workers and everybody that's been affected in the last week of what, what happened at the Thomas Line. Um, there's, there's no words. It's, it's just an awful event. You know, nobody wants to go to work and not come home. So I can't even begin to know what the people are going through. And, you know, uh, for our condolences, we lowered the flags to half staff after it happened. Um, Mr. Edgett was phenomenal. Bob was a great guy. Uh, you know, Pat B, for years, coming to the meetings, seeing him out in public, was always helpful, always friendly, like like everybody said, always smiling. Be greatly missed. But, you know, when I was reading his obituary, 2020 Volunteer of the Year, and he probably could have won it every year <laughs> if, if they didn't just pick somebody else. Great man. Um, and last weekend, we had planned on doing the Recruit New York event for the fire departments here at Town Hall, but the weather was not cooperating, so the departments decided it'd be easier for them to house it at their own departments. We're looking to see if maybe we reschedule. We're not sure. I know there might be a push to try to talk to the state about actually changing the date to something where we get a little better weather on that end. Um, that is all I have. Uh, next up is department head reports. Nothing. <clears throat> Mr. Rosigno has nothing. Uh, Mr. Sweet, I, was... um, I have a few comments, but I can save them for uh, the motions. Okay. So, very good. Uh, town engineer. Nothing. Okay. And our deputy mm -hmm. clerk. Um, I would just say that we've got um, reservations are being booked over at the park. Um, I've got probably at least 65 paid so far and counting. So there's a lot of availability still left for any summer events. So call 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 town hall. Call the parks department for that. Yeah. Very good. I'm it. Great. I'll set you up. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Uh, on to regular agenda items. Letter A, I'd like to get a motion to accept the bid from Northern Asphalt in the amount of $789,669.04 for the 2024 Hot Mix Asphalt Paving Projects. I will move that. I will second it. Okay. Uh, discussion. Um, yeah, Mr. Sweet. I, uh, I just wanted to comment that, uh, again, we're solidly good uh, right by us when they were uh, quite a bit lower than some of the other um, bids. In fact, some of the numbers that they, the, the number they had for milling was outstanding, um, even from a few years ago's uh, uh, standards. But my only comment was that um, tomorrow, Al and I are going to sign the, if this passes, the contracts. And then uh, Rich has actually, has actually um, said that they're willing to, wanting to start uh, the 29th of this month. So, Paving might be done by the end of June, and what that allows us to do is get all of our paperwork into the state, so when the second wave of chips line comes out, we're ready and prepared to do something else if uh, it comes up. So, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> and just so everybody, you mentioned we're selling, but they own Northern Right, Asphalt. that's, yes. So, yeah. there's clarification. Right. I put up just, you can't see it, yes. behind me. I put the record of bids up on the... Oh, you did? Uh, okay. Yes. In case Maybe anybody had any questions. Yeah, 72 cents under the cost unit for milling in place is uh, very low. Well. The, their hot mix price was about uh, um, $3.40 or $3.60, so less than last year. So. Great. Okay. Um, you know, this is fantastic. Do you have a sense of what's going on? Like, prices are coming down? Um, no, I think there's, there's there's a couple things in play here. Uh, um, one, there's a demand. There's a there's a huge demand upcoming for uh, uh, New York State DOT mixes because uh, of all the work that's going on. All of those mixes are recycled asphalt product mixes, so there is a, a demand for milling so that they can meet the minimum specifications of the state in uh, all of the state mixes for recycled asphalt. 
Um, so that's that's helping us on the milling standpoint. And uh, um, obviously, uh, uh, they buy bulk asphalt emulsion when prices are low in the winter time. Um, they they I'm assuming that our asphalt price is related to they pre-purchased asphalt emulsion in the winter time and our uh, because we're ready to go and we're, we're usually the first out of the gate for for them to mobilize and start paving roads um, we get good prices because of that but, um, we're significantly lower than county bids and OGS bids uh, every year when we do this because of how we structure the contract how we um, allow the contractor to get started early in the season and how we actually pay our bills in a timely fashion which state and county agencies aren't exactly known for for doing that you're you know 60 to 90 days at a minimum to get a payment where typically the town of life annual process payments in 30 days or less agree very good any other questions or comments okay all in favor aye aye uh, yes. <clears throat> motion carried none opposed <clears throat> Motion B, I'd like to get a motion to reduce the punch list security requirement for Timber Bank's Section 3 Phase 4 development to $8,000 as recommended in the Town Engineer's letter dated 4-10-24. I'll move that. I will second it. Okay. Discussion? Yeah, all this is just, they've, they've done the work. So yeah, they've, they've paid, they've put the top course of the road on and, and done the work, so we're, yeah. Okay, very good. All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, none opposed, motion approved. Uh, motion C, I'd like to get a motion to authorize the town supervisor to sign the 2024 agreement with the Canton Woods Senior Center. Oh, it's my turn, right? I'll, I'll move that. I'll second okay. it. Uh, discussion? This is, this is something I've had to get on the agenda for a month and a half now and forgot at the last meeting. So we're getting it on tonight. This is something we sign every year. That's our agreement between the village and the towns for Canton Woods maintenance and, you know, taking care of the buildings and the town's commitments to the Canton Woods Senior Center, which is part of our annual budget. Any other questions, discussion? Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 None opposed, motion carried. Motion D, I'd like to get a motion to appoint Nate Monica as MEO in the Highway Department with a starting date of 4-15-2024 with an hourly rate as per the union contract. I'll move that. I will second it. Okay. Discussion. I just want to make a comment that Nate is a graduate of Baker High School. He does volunteer. Um, for Lysander Fire Department. He what, he did uh, wingman for us this uh, winter, and he also comes with his uh, CDL already good to go to drive our vehicle. So I think he's gonna be an asset for the, he says early 20s, which is younger than anybody I know that's that. It's pretty much every Jay's down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, so it'll be great. Yeah. Good. Excellent, well, glad to have him aboard. Um, hopefully. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion approved. None opposed. <coughs> motion carried. Uh, motion E. I'd like to get a motion to appoint Anne Marie Evans to the data collector position in the assessor's office, effective April 22nd, 2024. This appointment is provisional per civil service rules and salary is per union contract. I'll move that. I'll second it. Okay. Discussion. Uh, I. I helped with the interview process with our uh, town assessor, and um, you know I think Anne Marie's going to fit in great to this position. She's got experience in the assessor's office and her previous work, so this will be um, a great addition. Uh, we will be having a retirement in May in that office, so this is an exchange of the position. So, uh, any other discussion? No? All in favor? Aye. 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 Not opposed, motion carried. Motion F, I'd like to get a motion to appoint Vincent, and I'm sorry if I get your list, Mangan? Mangan. Okay, I got it. As a Zoning Board of Appeals member, effective 4-22-24 to fill the term expiring 12-31-2026. I'll move that. I 
Daniel Secondary. Special. Um, we we put that out in the paper, well, in, online, uh, and we had two candidates. Uh, Vince was one of the two. I think he'll be a great addition to the zoning board. Um, he, you know, he came just moved into town recently. I think within the last year or so. Yeah. So great to have you aboard. Great to have people volunteer. You know, it's it's a great job. Great pay. <laughs> so if you meet, that's the other part. Of it, but so. Being nothing else, uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carried, none opposed. Uh, we, got, we got one more item. Motion G. I'd like to get a motion to declare the following item surplus. Metal cabinet, item number 0367, Jacobson, two, T423D turf mower, Jacobson, 628D turf mower, both from the highway to be sold at auction. A staple shredder model SPL TXC 18A from the assessor's copy room. I will move that. I will second it. Okay. Discussion. Um, I believe most of these items have served their useful purpose. Yeah. And we're we're getting rid of them for whatever we can. So motion to all in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carried, none opposed. Um, I would like to feel that in the meeting. It. I apologize for interrupting you, and I ask permission to maybe have an addition. I forgot something. I think it's important, and like to. Well, is this something you could just talk to me about yeah, after? It's a public service an announcement. I forgot to say it when I was up. For those that might have an opportunity to see this at home or hear this at home before nine o'clock tonight, our Baldwinsville Library is having a budget vote until 9 p.m. tonight. It started at 9 a.m. this morning. It's integral, important part of our community. Anybody who lives in the town of Van Buren, the town of Lysander, in the village of Baldwinsville, they have a Baldwinsville address. They're eligible to vote until 9 p.m. And it's, uh, it's funding a project that I think is important for our community. So thank you for allowing me the time to say thank that. Thank you, Mr. Birch. That being said, we'll adjourn the meeting at 646. Yeah, sorry, make a motion to adjourn the meeting at 646. I'll move it. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. <laughs> Have a good evening, folks. Motion to adjourn. Our meeting adjourned.